16 coverage continues with a special guest. Senator Rob Portman is currently on his Moving Ohio Forward RV tour. 50 stops across 30 counties covering 3,500 miles. And we're very glad he made five on two on one of his stops today. Welcome. Of course, Mark. Thanks for having me on. Good to see you. You bet. I wanted to get your thoughts initially about uh, being a major player in what is being called not only the most watched Senate campaign in the nation this year, but the most expensive as far as ad dollars being spent. A lot of that money even coming from outside the campaigns. Mm -hmm. Well, look, it's an important race because probably Ohio will help determine who controls the majority in the Senate and therefore the direction of our country. So I do think it's appropriate that uh, you know people pay attention to this race. Uh, we have very different uh, approaches. Ted Strickland is my opponent. Uh, he's a guy who was a former congressman, a former governor, uh, does not have a record that he can be proud of. He just did a bio ad where he didn't even mention his record as governor or congressman. Uh, whereas we can talk about our accomplishments, what we've done for Ohio, and what our plans are in the future to actually get this economy moving, help people get higher wages, better benefits, get their expenses down, deal with the middle class squeeze. So we're excited about the campaign, and you're right, we're on this. Uh, this tour, today we were at the training center locally here for mm -hmm. the operating engineers. These are the guys that operate the heavy equipment we see on the highways. Right. They've endorsed me as a union. You know, you typically think that might go to the Democrat, but they've endorsed me because I've worked with them to create jobs. 2016, of course, also a presidential election year. That always means the focus is squarely on the state of Ohio. Is there any particular challenge for you running in this election year, given what's happening at the top of your party and maybe the, the disconnect on some level between the, the top of your ticket and the, the GOP establishment in Ohio? Well, it's an unusual year, isn't it? <laughs> it uh, is indeed. <laughs> I was a strong supporter of John Kasich, as you know, and uh, John didn't, didn't, didn't make it uh, through the primary. But we're running an independent campaign. We have been from the start. Really, a year and a half ago, we started doing our own grassroots, our own campaign. We've now contacted over 3 million Ohio voters, which no campaign in the country has done. Over the weekend, we did 100,000 contacts in one day with over 1,000 volunteers. So, you know, we weren't going to rely on a presidential campaign, regardless of who the candidate was. And um, that was probably a good decision, you know, given, uh, given, given what's happened, because there's not a lot of infrastructure you would normally expect in a right. presidential year. But look, we're, we're, we're out there talking about my record. This is a race for the Senate, not for the presidency. Mm -hmm. And c comparing and contrasting what I have done and what my plans are for the future as compared to Governor Strickland. It always comes down to the economy in Senate races like yours. Uh, there's been a lot of discussion as far as you and your opponent where you stand on trade issues and uh, the impact on Ohio workers. Set the record straight for me on that because there's been some back and forth. What is your stance on that? Yeah, I love the opportunity to do that because I'm really excited about what we have accomplished in the United States Senate to help Ohio workers be able to compete. I'm the author of what's called the Level the Playing Field Act. Actually, Sherrod Brown and I are co-authors of that. Sherrod Brown's the Democrat senator I, I work with in Washington. That has resulted in Ohio workers being able to fight back against unfair imports. We just won two cases for our steel workers here in Ohio as an example. We're about to win a third one, I believe, next month. That's because of our legislation. It's actually working to help Ohio workers. We've also been able to help in terms of keeping those countries that are sending their products here that are dumped or that are unfairly subsidized from going to another country through another bill of mine called the Enforce Act. Right. So I actually have gotten stuff done to be able to ensure there is a level playing field. I've also taken the lead in, in the United States Senate on this issue of currency manipulation, where other countries intervene in their currency, lower their currency, and they can sell their stuff cheaper. That's not fair. And I've taken the lead on that, frankly, in opposition to my own party. Uh, and China is the biggest defender of that, of, of currency manipulation. So I'm proud of my record. I'm proud of standing up for what's right for Ohio workers, and I can actually show we've made progress. For me, it's simply refreshing to hear that a Republican senator and a Democratic senator are actually working together in Washington. Yeah. We, we could use a little bit more of that. Yeah, well, Sheridan and I have done a lot together on, in the trade area and other areas, and, and I will work with anybody, Republican or Democrat, if it's the best for Ohio. All right. And I'm a, I'm a conservative. I'm proud of that. I consider myself a common-sense conservative you know, who focuses on getting things done. And that means working across the aisle to find common ground. Well, the nation is watching your race, and we will as well. And we'll be talking to you between now and November. Thanks, Mark. Good to be with you. Senator Rob Portman, Take care. our special guest today on 5 on 2. Thanks. Katie?